Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. So in this video we'll be solving a problem from the IMO shortlist 2002 and we'll be discussing some tricks that we can use when we prove our function is surjective. So in the last video we have discussed one surjectivity trick and in this video we'll be discussing other tricks as well. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started. So we are asked to find all functions f from r to r such that f of f of x plus y equals 2 times x plus f of f of y minus x. Okay, so let's take a look at our functional equation. Well, the first thing that we can notice is that here we have 2 times x. And we call this x free. Well, because it's not contained in any f, inside any f. So this... Uh, x is free okay so when we see a free quantity free x or free y we should always think about surjectivity and injectivity which we will be discussing later in later uh, videos but now let's prove that our function f is surjective well how can we do this we said earlier that the classical way is to have on the left hand side f of something and on the right hand side we need to have uh, a free or a surjective quantity. So if we have f of something equals surjective quantity, then our function is surjective. Okay, so here 2 times x is a surjective quantity, but here we have two f's. So how can we get rid of one f? Uh, can we get rid of this or this? Well, uh, we should notice that uh, we cannot substitute with x. We need to substitute with y because we don't want to lose our free x. So this is not suitable for substituting because we can't get rid of x uh, or make this constant because we have y is inside an f. But look at here, by simply substituting y with minus f of x, this become, becomes f of 0. So we can get f of something equals f of 0 minus 2 times x and that is a surjective quantity. So let's simply substitute p x and minus f of x and that will give us f of 0 minus 2 times x equals f of something okay so we have f of something equals a surjective quantity and thus our function f is surjective so we can say that f is surjective okay that's nice so how can we use the surjectivity of our function f in order to solve the problem well remember in our last video we discussed a problem uh, in which we used a uh, one trick of surjectivity and that trick was when you have uh, in your functional equation all the y's are inside f so for example you have f of y f of y f of y and your function f is surjective so it makes sense to consider some variable z and set z equals f of y and since f of y is surjective then z is any real number and so by doing this you have got rid of uh, all f of y's in your functional equation okay what can we do the same here well let's take a look here we have f of y that's good but here we have f of f of x plus y so we don't have f of y if we can get rid of this f of x and have only f of y then we can do the same uh, as we did earlier consider z equals f of y well we can't use this trick or can we? Well, actually, you, we can by using the second common trick of surjectivity. We can, in fact, get rid of this f of x by simply using this fact. Since our function f is surjective, then we must have uh, some variable alpha, some number alpha, such that f of alpha 
equals zero, right? That is true because our function f is surjective. So there is a value such that f of this value equals zero. And that is alpha. We don't know the value of alpha, but that's not important. Now, uh, we can simply substitute x with alpha, and that will be zero. So by simply substituting alpha and y, we get this f of alpha, zero. So we have f of y, f of y equals two times alpha plus f of f of y minus alpha. Now we can use the second trick, which we discussed earlier. Look, your function f is subjective, and you have f of y and f of y. So it makes sense to consider uh, z. Let's consider z equals f of y. And z is just any real number. And let's write our functional equation. z equals 2 times alpha plus f of z minus alpha. Now, this is a very simple functional equation. It's really straightforward. You can simply substitute z with z plus alpha. So let's substitute z with z plus alpha and find your function. So we'll have z plus alpha and alpha with two times alpha. So this will be z minus alpha equals f of z. And so our function f of x equals x minus some constant alpha. So now we just need to check whether this function is indeed a solution. So here we are going to have x plus y minus alpha minus alpha, so minus 2 times alpha. And here we'll have y minus x plus 2 times x, that is the same as x plus y. And here we have minus alpha minus alpha, so we have minus 2 times alpha. So it is indeed a solution, f of x equals x minus alpha, and so we're done. So after solving these two problems, I hope you guys appreciate the power of subjectivity. And always remember these two tricks. The first trick is when you have a variable inside f in all parts of your functional equation, always consider z, uh, defining z equals f of this variable. So you can simplify your functional equation. And the second trick is always use this unknown variable alpha. Uh, and you can use any value you want. Here we've used f of alpha equals zero. But you can pick anything, f of alpha equals 1, f alpha equals mi minus 1. Use whatever you want. But usually we use 0 and 1. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like the video, share and subscribe. And see you guys in the next tutorial.